Well, this man has been there before, and he certainly looks like it. The number one middleweight contender back in a championship setting. And we've talked about this a lot, but he made himself undeniable with this run back to contention. Now he tries to rest away the goal. That's not easy, John. It's not easy to make your way back because you have been there before. And maybe it didn't work out for you, but to stay positive, to have that steel trap of a mind that allows for you to rebuild yourself makes you know when you do get back, you have a greater appreciation for the opportunity. Tonight he said he intends to finally cash in. There are a lot of high-level guys at 185 pounds, a lot of contenders waiting in the wings. This challenger knows he has to maximize this opportunity in front of him tonight. So the latest title defense arrives here and now for the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion. And prevailing wisdom is it's going to take a huge effort out of the challenger tonight to dethrone this dominant kid. Absolutely. You do not beat this guy without being on your A game. And not even just your A game is going to get it done. You have got to overachieve in order to beat this guy. This guy is firmly entrenched as the best in the world. When you look at him, you know he's the best from the way he carries himself to the confidence to the skill set. He's the champ, and he does the tip, but that's the change. Seemed as though it was maybe a difficult win cut or more difficult than once prior, but he didn't want to hear any of that noise in advance of this latest middleweight championship title defense. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the X Murderer, Wonderland. Silva. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending. Undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anthony Hopkins. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the right. octagon for this one. Ready. Yeah. All right, Vanderlei Silva back in the octagon. Oh. Uppercut. Oh, big hook, that'll stick. No feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it all. They don't like each other in here trying to get the opponent out of there right away. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, he loved I mean, but he's right. I mean, he's so right in terms of if you're on your back. Silva's got the back going for the rear naked choke. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. And he gets the single leg takedown. Great job changing 
into position and get that reversal. Oh, interesting there is he just decides to let him back up. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Nice shot to get inside and get the single collar tie. Short uppercut in the clinch by Silva. Another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just... Silva's going for a choke. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. He's worse. He's throwing it up. Oh, wow, he got out and melted him. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking whenever he was beat so greatly by that rear naked choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he's got the choke. He's got the choke. It's over. It's over. Working out on Zico choke, and he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. There's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. Taken down here by Silva. Now he's going full mount. Done pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. But you can't wait without You don't get him as often as you can. Here we go. Oh, massive diving punch. Flush to the head. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. He's going to attack off right here. Oh, arms in tight. Working very hard to get this arm bar. As close to the finish, he's got to extend the arm to get him to tap. There's the tap! Oh, my goodness. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. We set it inside the octagon for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute. 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And new UFC middleweight champion of the world, the ex murderer of the Silva. So the ex murderer, Vanderlei Silva, gets his hand raised yet again. He's had a lot of big moments in.